bikes zipping by the Blue Dome District, but cars are certainly not. Road closure signs making traffic a nightmare. That means several businesses in the area have some obstacles. It's kind of a give and take. Colin Rainey works at El Guapo Mexican Restaurant and Bar. He says Tulsa Tough is a mixed blessing at times. You know, we do have a lot of lost business due to the lack of parking, but the people that are here are kind of stuck here. In the end, he says the foot traffic will offset the lack of parking, and they expect to make a nice profit this weekend. It does, because we're expecting a lot of people here tonight. Kevin Coleman at McNelly's across the street says they not only welcome the event, road closures and all, they're sponsoring the race. We're taking care of the VIP, we're feeding all the volunteers. The estimated economic impact of Tulsa Tough last year was about $1.5 million. That's everything from bars and restaurants to hotels, gas, snacks, you name it. They're hoping to surpass that this year. Businesses we talk to say they see a nice mix of locals and out-of-towners, and they hope they can make an impression to keep them coming back even after the final cyclist finishes. It should be a very good weekend for us. Any event downtown that brings in customers, once they get here, we can take care of them. Anything to bring them down here, I'm all for.